Matt Hancock and Boris Johnson and the chief lieutenants of the medical industrial complex who have been revealed, unveiled by the heroic publishing effort of the Daily Telegraph, publishing stolen goods, publishing stolen documents in the public interest, just like Julian Assange is facing extradition to the United States and 174 years in a supermax prison for doing. Why don't you make that connection, Mr. Daily Telegraph? Nonetheless, I commend you. You and Isabel Oakshot, I say to Richard Tice again, don't give that woman your telephone. I have reason to caution you, even before Matt Hancock found out that while she was ghostwriting his book, she was going through his WhatsApp messages and has now plastered them across the front page of the newspapers. And it's a good thing that she did, because what she has done is reveal the chaos and the mendacity of the leaders of the British government when it came to the lockdowns from 2020 onwards. These lockdowns were judged by more than 20,000 voters on here just last Sunday to have been a disaster, to have been unnecessary, to have been badly implemented, implemented in entirely the wrong way. But we are still suffering the after effects of the British government's disastrous handling of the pandemic, of the lockdowns and all that came from them. Our economy may never recover. Millions, many millions of British people may never recover their mental health or their physical health that was sacrificed at the altar of a gigantic scare story to scare the pants off the British public. Not my words, the words of the then Health Secretary, Matt Hancock.